Hi. Now, what I've got here is a much harder trinomial to factorize than what we've done in the past. At first, it might look much the same as what we've done, but what I've done is we've, I've made this 6x squared this time, and 6 is not a prime number like we've had in the past. We've had the examples where this has been 2x squared or 3x squared or 5x squared because when for instance it was 2x squared, let me just show you at the front, if it was 2x squared you'd have picked something like 2x times x. If it was 3x squared you would have put 3x and x and 5x squared would have been 5x and x. But when it's 6x squared is it going to be 6x and x? Well, it could be, but in the same token, it could be 3x times a 2x. Okay, so we've got to be aware that it's possibly this combination rather than this combination at the front of the brackets. Okay, so let's dive in and see what we can do now let's just imagine it was 6x and x which I would encourage you to possibly start off with then remember we've got to get this minus 12 on the end so we're picking two numbers that multiply together to give the minus 12 well in the past tutorials we've seen that we can have minus 12 times 1, that combination. Um, we can have a 4 and a 3 and a 6 and a 2. So quite a few combinations there. So you've got to be systematic. So let's suppose we started off with say a 4 and a 3. If we put a 4 and a 3 here, Remember they've got to have different signs, so we might decide that it's a minus there and a plus there. Remember the signs don't matter too much as long as they're opposite signs. If we get our target value in the middle, or uh, an x, if it was a minus x that we get, we just switch the signs around. So the signs are not too important at this stage as long as they're different. Okay, in the usual way we'd multiply this out. 6x times x, 6x squared. We know we've got the number on the end because minus 4 times plus 3 is minus 12. And if we look at the x terms, 6x times the 3 gives us the 18x. And minus 4 times the x is minus 4x. But what does this give us? Well, it gives us 14x. If we were to switch the signs, all we would get would be minus 14x. It's nothing like the value that we've got in the middle. Remember, you, could, you, you should be systematic. You should now switch the numbers round. That might give you a different, uh, uh, well, not might, it will give you a different uh, answer uh, in the middle here. So if we were to switch these round, let's see what we would get this time. If we were to put the th uh, 3 here, and the 4 there, okay. We've still got our minus 12 on the end, but for the x terms, okay, let's just see what we're going to get. 6x times plus 4 is plus 24x, and minus 3 times x, minus 3x. So we're going to get 21x here, okay. Switch the signs, you get minus 21x not the middle value. So this is not working. Well, I want to keep this tutorial short. You've seen in the previous tutorials how we try all the different combinations. So you would go on maybe and try a 6 and a 2, a 2 and a 6, maybe a 12 and a 1, 1 and a 12. And in fact, you'd find that none of those combinations work. It is this one, in fact. It's the 3x, 2x combination that is the one that's going to work. And again, if you were systematic, you would try your 12s and 1s and 6s and 2s combinations. But to cut this down, if you try a 4 and a 3 combination, you'll have more success. Look, if we were to put a 4 in here and a 3 in here, just Make sure you have two different signs in here. Suppose you decide to have a minus there and a plus there. We know that will give us minus 12. Okay, when expanded, 
let's just uh, put this down. So we know that 3x times 2x, well that's the 6x squared. We've got our minus 12 on the end. And when we multiply out the x terms, we've got 3x times the 3, which is plus 9x, minus 4 times the 2x, which is minus 8x. Okay, so when we do this, 9x take away 8x is the x that we want in the middle. If I had written that as plus 4 and that as minus 3, all I would have got would have been minus x, because this would have been minus 9x, that would have been plus x, we'd have minus x, realize that we've got the target value except for the sign, just switch the signs. Okay, well we've uh, got what we want, so all we need to do now is just literally put the answer in. 6x squared plus x minus 12. Remember to try and put an identical sign rather than an equal sign there. And uh, it is this then. 3x minus 4 multiplied by 2x plus 3. Okay, so these do take a lot more practice when you've got a number at the front which is not a prime number that can be split into two other factors. Okay, well uh, hopefully that gives you some idea then of what to expect in those harder types. Just be patient, make sure that you do things in a systematic way, okay? And eventually you should come across the right combination.